Warning, this game includes acts of violence, abuse, foul language and blood. If you are squeamish or don't like swears, I recommend not watching this video and find the jollier one. But if you're fine with the things I just mentioned, proceed to enjoy. Thank you. and welcome back to another video and today we are continuing Detroit Become Human why because it's getting saucy right last episode we ended off jumping off a building after broadcasting a message to revive not revive to give androids rights because they're being used as slaves and Marcus doesn't want that so yeah oh by the way um if you want to you don't have to but there'll be a discord link in the description if you want to click it it'll go to the no signal found pay discord server it's a new group that i have started um way, we are hoping to model. like I mean, have a community so if you want to click the link join it and yeah, go check it out. Let's... Oh, we're starting off as Connor. Okay. Oh, we're back here. Yeah, Amanda's over there. I'm guessing she wants to speak to me. Hello, With Connor. With an umbrella. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise might enjoy a little cruise, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Um, Hank. My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Sincere. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? Truth. I don't know. I don't know. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Indifferent. I am of no importance. The mission is all that matters. Uh -huh. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Time is running out. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, we got more Connor tricks. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? Yeah, it's all over the Is this the, the, the first scene music? 
even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, great. Now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you take the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Hmm. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. Hmm. Okay. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI have been taking over the investigation. You sent me off the case. Oh, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I agree. <laughs> I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Play the message. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Ooh. Is Marcus RA-9? Two different eyes. Yeah, that's Marcus. Elijah Kamsky to Carl Manfred. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Hmm. He tell a white lie. What else can I investigate? This thingy. What's this thingy over here? Oh, it's a hat. signs of forced entry there are cameras in the hallway the staff would have seen what was happening why did they let him in maybe they didn't check the cameras hmm 
Even though I know what happened, like, you know. Because <laughs> I did it. Turn this chair around. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Let's put, check rooftop. Hmm, they're the same model. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Hmm. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Oh. Run a diagnostic. That's cool. All That's systems weird. fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a Deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Threaten. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy! It's the one on the left. The deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. We know everything. Violence. You scumbag! I know it's you! You're just a fucking deviant! Go on! Admit it! Do it! Oh god! Oh god! What can I do? I can't do nothing. Shit. Shit. So glad I caught that. Good. I've literally only got a minute left. Come on, Connor, you can get there. Come on, you can do it. Oh, God.
That was intense. It's a deviant. Stop it. Hello. I need to help. Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. I think we can trust them. Possibly. We don't have a choice. Right, let's enter. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Something about him. I don't know what it is, but he can't be trusted. Why did I walk into a wall? <laughs> let's go this way. In here. Come on, let's, let's go. to sleeps. I'm fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Explain. Don't worry, Alice. These people are going to help us. Get some rest, and this time tomorrow, we'll be in Canada. I promise. 
Canada. Oh, Canada. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. Yes, I agree. Maybe they just need time to understand what we really are. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Optimistic. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Spaghetti. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. She you just need something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. These people are actually kind, some other than fucking Zlatko. Zlatko was a bitch. <laughs> I'll stay with her a while. Right, let's go talk to Rose. Name. See what's going on. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. Let's sit. Get to know him a little bit. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Cynthia. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, Something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. I need to We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. Why, Why help? are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Border. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. No we can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. What? What is going on? What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Oh, damn. Oh, we escaped great. together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Alright, oh, nine again in the background. Let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. I'm 
It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks! That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Oh, damn. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. see myself right oh there's Luther widespread shock following the android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to comment, but we can expect more information in the following hour. Christmas. Pictures. I'll talk to him in a minute. Hmm. The bell. The police. It's the police. What are we gonna do? Uh, they know we're here. We have to open the door. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. 
With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected... visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Can't go that way. Let's see if we can go. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. What? What's with the blue blood? I thought you didn't have any androids. It, it belonged to the... the previous tenant. I still haven't cleared all that out yet. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He... He's just shaken up about this deviant business. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Ooh. Adam. That was a close one. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. 
it's Rose. Get yourselves ready. Oh, we're we going leave tonight. Tonight. Ooh. Our broadcast is all over the news. We got what we wanted. Hey. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. They'll be watching us now. Whatever we do next, we need to think about public opinion. Since our broadcast, more and more have been coming to Jericho. At least our message gave our people hope. Killing humans wasn't part of the plan. They kill our people every day. Do you think they agonize about it? That's no reason for us to become murderers. If killing is the price of freedom, I'll pay it gladly. Killing never freed anyone. It just leads to more hatred. You're too fond of humans, Josh. Maybe their lives matter to you more than ours. If you think murdering humans is gonna make us free, then you're as bad as they are. That's enough. And now what are we gonna do? There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. Let's mention police. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. Let's go. <laughs> it's okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Let's do it. I already know what the title for this video is going to be, so... You see the alarm system? There's a metal shutter behind the glass. It won't be easy to get in. Found it. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Let's walk with him. You are free. You are free. The surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. Two 
too high. Okay. Next route. Too far. Alrighty. Too far. Okay. I didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. So many on Marcus! Isn't North converting anyone? You're awake now. Go to Jericho. traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Marcus! Marcus, come look! This is RA9. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? 
We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Wait. You are free. Marcus playing God. You are free. Nope, not pause. How long do I have left? Eight minutes. Still got enough time. There it is. Truck. What are we waiting for? Let's get that truck out. Let's do it, let's do it. Truck unlocked. Alrighty. I wonder what you'd do without me. You haven't done nothing this entire time. All you've done is handed me some bolts. end up doing something fun. Oh. Right, let's get out, convert as many androids as possible. Wake each one individually. You don't have to obey oh, no. them. Good. You're free. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object. Designed to obey them. 
But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus. We're with you. Yes. I'll follow you, Marcus. With I'm with you. I'm with you. Then follow me. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. Are we gonna cause a riot? Are we gonna riot? I'll follow. Yeet! <laughs> Let's do this. Should we be pacifists or- screens, Marcus! Turn off. Let's just turn it off. Be pacifists. Oh, that's mostly violence. I don't want to be vi- Actually, you know what? Let's do a violent one. Actually. Should I- I don't know! What should we do? Let's tag it. Come on. I'm done doing it. Oh, there we go. Tag. Come on. I'm doing it. I'm doing the button. It's not letting me. I'm touching my touchpad. It's not working. Hold on. Eh. I'm, I'm literally doing it. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Ruining it. Touchpad ones are ruined. We don't need masters anymore. We're free. doing stuff. Come 
All teams have completed their missions, Marcus. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Oh. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. I know what I'm doing. Unless there's no other choice. Won't punish a crime with another crime. Because we're better than them. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? That was a brilliant chapter. That's a great place to end the episode. Hope to you all like, subscribe, share with all your friends, join. No signal found if you want to. I'm not forcing you to, but you know you want to. Um, yeah, stick around for the next episode. This was episode 8 of Detroit Become Human, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace!